Boy, are you ready? I'm ready. Hello, everybody. This is Pete, Shauna, and Jeremiah with Gallagher Family Discipleship. Okay, and now we're here with our uh, fifth teaching this week on the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And we're moving into some new scripture. Today we're going to talk about verses 12 and 13. You want to read those for us, Shauna? It says, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things <coughs> that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. You know, the world is full of things that contrast. There is uh, hot and cold. Uh, there's sweet and sour. There's Pete and Sean. Yeah, we're opposites. <laughs> that's, why, that's why we fit so good together, because we're different. We contrast. You know, but the, the Bible talks about some things here uh, in this these two verses, and he mixes two things. He mixes the spirit of this world and the spirit of God. And those are two things that should never, ever be mistaken for each other. Uh, we live in a day and time where individuals uh, who claim to be Christians should be separated from the world. Individuals ought to be able to look at us and say, there is the Spirit of God living within Pete. There's the Spirit of God living within Jeremiah and within Shauna. And they ought to know the difference between the Spirit of God and the Spirit of the world. Absolutely. Uh, the Bible tells us that, that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. And that's because of the Spirit of God. That's because that it's no longer a spirit of, um, a spirit of complacency, a spirit of, of rejection, a spirit of rebellion, a spirit of... Um, <clears throat> Uh, but it is uh, it's the Spirit of God, which is holy and righteous, which is loving and kind, which is bold and which is truthful. Uh, before we started this video, Sean and I were talking about we really have to be careful about the things we fill ourselves with. Are we going to fill ourselves with the Spirit of this world or the Spirit of God? And that goes with our everyday interaction. The people we encounter, are they uplifting us and moving us closer to God or drawing us closer to the world? The TV we watch, the the internet channels that we that we go to online or or the the Facebook posts that we read and videos that we watch on there are we doing things and allowing the spirit of the world to overcome us or the spirit of God to overcome and live within us and the the, the answer for a Christian is it should be we want the spirit of God to have complete control the last part of that verse says that the Holy Ghost teaches so he teaches us how we should act and how we should behave and he leads and guides and directs us like a general Absolutely. So the Spirit of God that dwells inside every Christian uh, will lead, will guide you, will help you to become who God has called you to be. It will separate you from the world, transforming you from who you used to be into who God truly created you to be. Um, so that is going to end our video for the day. Uh, make sure that you read today's uh, blog that directly uh, correlates with this video. Um, goes in a little bit more deeper, and we want to encourage you to exalt God, God to encounter God, to edify yourself and engage the world, um, live intentionally for Christ, and hold on to the promises that God has made to you. We love you, and until next time, say goodbye, Jeremiah. Goodbye, <laughs> goodbye everybody. Bye.